in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to make this 3D cube in a very simple way. So I'll first create a new composition and name this to cube. 9820 by 1080 resolution is fine. Go to 3D renderer and ensure that the renderer is set to classic 3D instead of Cinema 4D. I'll hit OK. The next thing is to create a solid. To do that, I'll click on layer and from new, I'll click on solid. Make sure you set the width and height equally so that a square is created. I'll hit OK. Now, I'll double click on this rectangle tool that we have in the toolbar so that a mask is created around the solid. And now I'll go to effect and from generate, I'll click on stroke. So we'll be using the stroke effect and I'll change the paint style to on transparent and I'll increase the brush size a bit so that we have you know a box created something like this we will now convert this box into a cube so the first thing is to click on this collapse transformations check this button here and also convert this layer into 3d the next thing is i'll change the view from active camera to custom view one so that we'll have this view let me just decrease the brush size just a bit. All right. And the next thing is I'll duplicate my layer. I'll hold control on my keyboard and hit D so that it gets duplicated. Or you can simply go to edit and click on duplicate. I will then click on this anchor point tool and I'll hold shift on my keyboard and move the anchor point. To left just like this and I'll select my layer and I'll change the rotation to something like this to around 90 and I'll duplicate this layer again I'll hold control and hit D so that it gets duplicated I'll again use the anchor point tool hold shift on my keyboard and drag the anchor point to exactly this point I will then change the rotation I'll hit R on my keyboard so that I can see the rotation properties I will set this to 180 I'll duplicate the layer again Control D for duplication I'll select the anchor point tool and move the anchor point to this position And now I'll change the rotation. I'll hit R and set this to 270 for the Y axis rotation. Now you can see that we have a nice cube created. I'll select all my layers. Control A on my keyboard. I'll right click here and click on Precompose and I'll hit O. The next thing is to hit the Collapse Transformations button here that we have on our timeline. And now if I start rotating my cube, we have a, you know, a nice cube created and we can animate accordingly depending on our requirement. Adobe After Effects is all about creativity. So you can play around with the cube and generate a very nice animation for your projects. I hope you found this video helpful. And if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.